but would like me to just uh, give you a small explanation of this and basically the supporters club, supporters club would like to honour everything that Barry and Martin have done this season in bringing the Warriors back and we'll bring the Warriors to birth and bring the speedway back to the only one. So they would like to honour them with a little presentation. Thanks for everything you've done and everything that you are continuing to do. And also, we all know that behind every good man is also a good woman. So, for the better halves as well, let's hear it for Lisa and Tina as well. So little presentations to Barry and Martin and Lisa and Tina. There you go. Well guys, for all you do on behalf of the Supporters Club, on behalf of us all here as well, obviously at the Isle of Wight Speedway. we would be nothing without you, quite literally. Thank you, well done. Yes, the riders were great for their favourite rider. I've got no idea who it is. Ah, where is Laurie? Laurie, can you get lame? Is he on? Is he on now? Okay. So, not only did Lane come sixth in the under 19s British Championship. Are you there, Lane? Put your clothes on, mate. Yeah, tie that hair back. You still look like a girl. Okay, well, you can tell Lane that we're very proud to tell him he is the Riders Rider of the Year. And I think that's quite fantastic because... Yeah, well done. Uh, hey, there he is. So you're the Riders Rider of the Year, Lane. Well done. And from what we've seen, you've improved every week. The Master Blaster, you were sixth in the under-19s. You should be very proud of yourself, young man. And uh, wherever you go next year, we look forward to seeing you doing well. Hang on, I'll try and get him to say something, which is going to speak. Speak. See if I can get it. Yeah. Thank you. No, I'm not talking. He won't do it. Okay. All right, well, thanks very much. Take care, Lane. You get back on the nest now. Cheers, mate. There you go, live by video link then, and that's Lane Cupid who wins the Riders Rider of the Year. So we have for the Fans Rider of the Year, please give a round of applause for Mr. Mark Baseby. Now, obviously, Mark is not with us this evening, so uh, who's going to accept this on behalf of Mark then? Mr. Martin Wigman. There you go, Martin. And he's going to pass it on to Mark tomorrow. Would you like to say a few words uh, on behalf of Mark? Just move out of the way of the speaker there, mate, because it will whistle mad. A few words then on behalf of Mark for accepting this award. Well, I think uh, Mark would have been uh, wanted to be here, but obviously with the National League pairs tomorrow, uh, he's decided against it. Uh, I think the temptation of having a really good night was uh, too much for him, so he's erred on the side of caution and stayed on the mainland. Uh, he, I think he's had a brilliant season here, and uh, I'm sure he'll uh, welcome these awards. So thanks very much indeed. Mr. Mark Baseman, Riders, Rider of the Year. So we have now an award for the Bonus Point King. Point King. So, Bonus Point King. Sorry about the break on the microphone, I'll change it a bit if we need to. But in the meantime, please make loads of noise for the Bonus Point King winner, Kelsey. Kelsey's <laughs> 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 
Right on Kelsey, give him a round of applause. Oh yeah, that's all worth for you go, Kelsey. There we go then. There you go. The bonus point king. That's just my notes, mate. You won't make notes at all. Kelsey, you're live, please. Don't swear. Else. You are live on the Warriors TV, please do not swear. Kelsey, what's it mean to you? Bonus point king? I think it's just a gift they give to the people they feel bad. <laughs> the people they feel most sorry for. Is that what you think? Oh well, yeah, basically. We don't think that, do we, people? Yeah. Bonus point, Kate. You must have had a lot of bonus points to win it, mate. That's the way it goes. Statistics don't lie. <laughs> He's speechless, look. Speechless. He's speechless. Okay. A word to your fans. Just a massive thank you for well, supporting us all year and little Callum here. As you guys might have seen on the DVD, uh, not the DVD, the, earlier on in the year I surprised him at school and it made his like, day and he's a little legend. So can we get a cheer for Callum please? For those of you who didn't see that on Facebook, that uh, bit of footage of Kelsey going to school. It was excellent. It did put a lump in your throat. Yeah. I don't mind admitting. Well done. Bonus points in the bag for that alone, I think. Okay. Got Asha next year. What do you reckon? Are you coming back to the Warriors next year? I'll have a word with the boss. What do you reckon? Yeah, I mean, I love my time here and I'll definitely come. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, no, I, I love my time there and I love my time here. And I mean, I, I probably did prefer it here. Uh, <laughs> I probably did prefer it here because I was away from the family and all of you guys have welcomed me awesomely and thank you to Neil and Barry and Martin and Ryan and Angie and basically just everyone really has welcomed me and I hope I'm back next year but if not I'll be racing against you and I won't score too many. <laughs> nice one. Would we like to see Kelsey back next year or what? <laughs> Bless him Kelsey, we'll see how it goes then. Enjoy your reward, uh, go to the bar, have yourself a drink, bless him, I'll remember my first pint as well. Okay then, moving on. He only had half. Page 22, the DJ's handbook, that one, I'll give you that one, Kelsey, you can have that. Okay. The Rear Upward Award, apparently, has just been renamed on the spot by Mr. Barry Bishop. The Crashed Most Times Award. For the Crashmeister, the Rear Up Award, apparently. So this award goes to, let me just confirm with my panel, and on, let me go no Terry Wogan. No need. Get out of the target audience and all that. I must do my notes. This award goes to Mr. Lee Smarts. Yeah. 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 There you go, Lee. Plenty of action out on track and an award for your spills. Then it can't be bad. It's good to get an award for whatever the cause. Okay, Lee. So, what do you reckon then? What do you think of the award? Was you expecting this at all? Yeah. There you go. Thanks for your time. We'll see you next season. Next. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> you could have bet. Nobody knew about this. Even I didn't know about this, and I know everything. Not really. Uh, so, a word to your uh, voters for the award, then. What have you got to say for the people who voted for you, for you on this award, Lee? Um, they were right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I had a shocking season, to be fair. I either won a race or a crash, um, or broke down. Pretty much my season in um, three words. But, um, yeah, I'm happy to receive it. I crashed the most. End of the day. Well, if you're going to crash, do it with style. That's what I always say. Style it out. Can't go wrong. If in doubt, muck about. Thank you. So, so a quick word about next season. What do you reckon? Are you up for it next season? If the uh, management will have you back, what do you think? What was your plans? Yeah, I'd be keen to ride. Um, I didn't really know before this season whether I'd ride again. Um, I got talked into it. I'm not sure if it's the right decision or not yet. Um, but yeah.
yeah, no, I'm keen to ride next season, so we'll just see what happens and um, wait and see. So you go, he's up for it, that's official, take it from the popple. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lee Smart, give him a round of applause. Thank you very much. We have a presentation to each team member. So first of all, can I please call Mr. Chris Woodman? Or as we like to call him now, Crash Whitman. <laughs> Since I just thought of it, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Quick work, Chris. Good season, mate. Chris, come in. No, no, come here. You don't get away from me that quick. Good season with the Warriors. Back on board about, what, two thirds of the season? through but you came in you did the job uh, what do you reckon you had a good one didn't you at the end of the season with us yeah it kind of uh, started off a bit flat uh, got a little bit better uh, came back to the Isle of Wight again and you know, soon picked up and then tailed off I may say that to all the girls we enjoyed it we, had, we enjoyed having them back didn't we at Isle of Wight Speedway yeah. the burning question what do we reckon for next year? What do we reckon next year? Can we chat the old man up? Can we have a word? Uh, Barry's not stood behind me, is he? <laughs> no, no. Ignore him anyway. He's, he's a pussycat. Ignore him. I would like to. You know, it's been uh, been a real pleasure coming back again, seeing, seeing all the old faces again, and um, same again next year. He'd like to come back. Do we want him back? Oh, hey! Thank you, Chris. Chris Woodman. Thank you very much. Next one for his presentation award, team member Mr. Nathan Stone. Wood. Man, person. <laughs> Mr. Nathan Stone, man, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Looking smart. <laughs> Looking dapper. Look it dapper. Yeah, you got to stand here for a bit. Primark's done well today, mate. Look at shot. <laughs> what do you reckon then? Good award then. Uh, nice to be a team member. Again, came in late doors into the team, but gelled in well and got back into it after a bit of time off. Did the end of the season go well there for you? Did you enjoy your time here at the Warriors? Yeah, that was exactly it. I come back to enjoy myself because I've missed my time out, obviously, where I retired in 2013. I come back. I know what have been great to me. They haven't put any pressure on me. The fans have been great. We've always been supported while we've been here, whether we're winning or losing. And that's what counts, you know, obviously. We need to be supported whether we're going to win or whether we're going to lose to try and build the spirit up. And then the spirit comes up and we get on, we score the points. And that's what we've been doing at the last few meetings. We'd like to think anyway, so... You did it for the guys, for the fans on the terraces. It's a confidence game, mate. When the confidence is not there, it's not so good. With this sort of support behind you, this sort of management behind you, the confidence is up, the riding comes next. It's a good combination. Next year, Nathan, what are we saying? Hey, we're putting them on the spot tonight. <laughs> we're putting them on the spot tonight. If you want to whisper in my ear and I'll, I'll tell them. Go on then. What do you reckon, Nathan? Um, I've already said that, you know, I'm not rushing into anything ready for next year. I've got a lot more to sort out. Obviously, I'll come back in the middle of the way through the season. I literally had no equipment. I've got one bike. I've got no spares. I've, you know, I've literally got nothing. So I've got a lot more to sort Begging it. Begging it. <laughs> Before I can rush into next season. But obviously, once I get myself sorted, then I'll worry about a team spot and see where we go for next season. But obviously, either way, I, I can't thank the Isle of Wight enough for what they've done for me and how much they've helped me and all the fans have supported me no matter what, you know, so I can just say thanks to everybody. It's a good answer, it's a good answer, ladies and gents. Mr. Nathan Stoneman, thank you very much, Nathan. There you go. So we've got an award here for Mr. James Hockle then, who's a Conspicuous by his absence tonight, and is going to be uh, accepting this award is Mr. Martin Winman on behalf of James. That's a bit of a posh award, this one. It's a good one. Tell us all about it, Martin. A little acceptance speech on behalf of James, if you would. Thank you. Well, I'm sure uh, 
James is disappointed about not being able to make it tonight. We, we, got, we got an early morning text saying he had to go to work. Uh, could we change his ferry? We did that. Expected him to be here, but we've had news that he broke down on route. Can't get here, but I'm sure he'll be dead chuffed to uh, receive this award from from all of us here. So. Uh, as I think James has had a really enjoyable time here. Uh, he's led from the front, been extremely disappointed when he didn't score well. Uh, but I think all in all he's had what he considers to be a really good season. So thanks very much on behalf of James. Thank you Martin, much appreciated. Thank you very much. The little ones, the mini warriors, and we're going to now. Yes, 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 let's give them a round of applause. They've entertained us this year, and there's been a lot of promise out on track. Master Warwick Taylor. Come on, Warwick. <laughs> Next, we have young Cameron Bell. Come on, Cameron. We've seen him out on track. Taken to the sport very, very well. And definitely one to watch for the future. So next we have little Holly J. Where's Holly? Is he with us this evening? No. Oh, bless, he's had a little accident and puts his head, couldn't make it with us this evening. So accepting Harley J's award, we have Adele. Thank you, Adele. There you go. So we now move on to the mini warrior of the year. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, please make loads of noise for our mini warrior of the year. It is none other than Cameron. I'm sure we all think this is well deserved. Cameron is showing loads of promise. Only stepped onto a bike just as this season started. And by midway through the season was riding around with loads and loads of confidence. And now moved up onto a speedway bike from his little 50 cc. So ladies and gents, boys and girls, that does indeed conclude our awards here this evening. So uh, there you go, please give a round of applause to all participants and all recipients of the awards. Please stick around and set yourselves down, we have a little uh, surprise for you now. A little treat. Okay, you may notice uh, a TV perched there on the table just by the video guys. This is a DVD uh, put together by Kelsey with the help of the guys from Speedway Portal. What? So we've got time for something totally different for you today. Open mouth, listen up to these guys, it's going to be funny. So who was the laziest rider? Sorry. Lee Schmall. Mark Baseby. Mark Baseby. Kelsey. Mark Baseby. Right, uh, without a doubt, that had to be Smarty. You know, Smarty always likes to turn up quite late. Um, you know, on the, on, <laughs> on uh, quite, uh, quite a few of the occasions, so uh, definitely Smarty on that one. In my opinion, it's got to be Lee Small. 
sits down in his chair, gets up right and right, puts his hand up and back down in his chair. It would have to be Mark Baysby because he doesn't go on track walk, he doesn't, well, you know, he doesn't go on track walk, he turns up five minutes before meeting, he, he just, I don't know, you know, he, he's just lazy really. I think Mark Baysby is definitely the laziest rider. He is worse than me at turning up late for meetings. And I don't think I've actually ever seen him do a track walk. I'd probably say Kelsey. No, um, it's hard to say he's the laziest. I don't, don't really get involved in uh, maybe everyone else, what they're doing. Um, well, the laziest rider is a rider who um, is an absolute terrier on the track, but in between races, he sat in his chair, he looks half asleep, cool as a cucumber, uh, waiting for his next ride. So the laziest rider in between races has to be Mark Baby. So who was the biggest moaner? Let's find out. James Cockle. Chelsea. Mr Cockle. I was actually the biggest moaner. Mr Smart. No, Joe's right. Right, uh, I'll go for James Cockle on this one. Cockle, you didn't mind a moan, really. Not gonna lie. Which was quite funny, you know. The referee had it in his ear on quite a few occasions, if I remember rightly. Um, got it for Chelsea. Um, if the bike's not right, the track's not right, the track's too bumpy, um, all sorts of excuses, you know, so there's your biggest moaner. Would have to be Lee Smart because there's always a problem. I mean, you know, maybe there's a hole in the track, there's a bump somewhere, maybe an aeroplane went past and he's dropping the clutch, but there's always just something wrong. Tell me, Professor, I'd like a second you opinion. Me. probably complained about it. Well. I've been told I'm not allowed to nominate myself, so I'm going to go for Mr. Cockle. Ask his mechanic, he'll tell you what I mean. I'd probably say that I was actually the biggest miner, in fairness. Um, I do like a good winch in the mine. Gold points this one. Uh, this one's got to go out to uh, Kelsey Dougal again, I think. Well, is there a hole in the track? Is there too much sail on the track? Was it graded the wrong way? Was it circled? Was it straight? Was the tapes going up at the same time? The biggest moaner has to be Mr. Smart. This is fun. Now, who was the best team man? James Cockle. Mark Baby. James Cockle. James Cockle. James Cockle. James Cockle again, you know, like you were a good captain, um, you know, so I'd, I'd like to thank you for all your help uh, for my time at the Isle of Wight, you know, we had some good laughs and uh, to come second with you in, in, the, in the pairs meeting was pretty awesome. It's a shame we didn't get the win. Side of the race down as Dugard now comes around, has a little round the outside of Cockle, and he grabs round the outside of Cockle, and also Govia on the last turn. How about that? Excellent race there, then, for the final, very fitting final race. Taking a look at the replay here, so we see Shuttleworth slowing everything down to allow his teammate there, Dugard, for Team Coops, to go straight past the pairing for the Team Warriors of uh, James Cockle and Tyler Govia to grab that all important second. I hate you Kelsey, but never mind. <laughs> would have to be Mark Baby. Uh, if anyone's got a problem, he's always the first on it um, to, to, to get sorted. He's, he's helped me a few times this year as well. <laughs> James Cockle or Chris Whitman because each week they're there, you know, uh, wanting to win and even if they're not having the best of nights, they'll still come over and make sure you're alright and they'll always lend parts or whatever. Um, and yeah, they, they've been a good credit to the team this year. I don't really want to say this because his head's going to get massive, but I've got to give it to Kelsey. Um, I don't think there's anyone in the team this year who hasn't rode his bike. So, yeah, Mr. Dugard. Yeah, then it came to the best team, man. I think uh, James Cockle done a good job, really. Boosting everyone up, he was uh, good. Um, he was always there to try and help the boys out with setups and whatnot. All of the Warriors stood out this year as team players in various situations. However, for me, the best team player of them all is the skipper, James Cockle. This is really good. 
But who had the dirtiest bikes? Kelsey Dugard. Kelsey. James Cockle. I've got to hold my hands up. Mark. The rider with the dirtiest bikes is... <laughs> right, oh god, that one's got to go. It's Kelsey Dugard. Um, you know, you, you used to turn up with like sort of half a bike most of the time and we usually spend about an hour per meeting this is making your bike rideable because it always used to fail the scrutineering. So Kelsey Dugard, you have the dirtiest bikes in our team. Uh, apart from the other six of the team, apart from myself, um, it's called Kelsey. Uh, maybe get a uh, jet wash on there, but a good, good detergent and uh, some metal polish. It'd have to be James Cockle, they're absolutely hideous. I mean, if he's never seen a umbrella pad in his life by the looks of his bike. Like dirt everywhere, you know, oil. Yeah, you just don't want to see his bikes for a minute. Uh, honestly, I can't nominate anyone for this one because I've got to hold my hands up and say I have the dirtiest bikes I have all season. Now you do yourself a disservice. And yeah, I've been ripped about it all season. So yeah, the dirtiest bikes is probably, uh, probably Mark, sorry. Sorry, Mark. Um, all our riders had good clean bikes uh, and they're always uh, very smart on parade. However, the rider with the dirtiest bikes is always the rider who comes second, third or fourth. So keep your bikes nice and clean. Win. The truth's coming out. Who was the thickest rider? Myself. Lane. Myself. Mr. Dugar. Mr. Dugar. <laughs> right, I'd have to go for myself on this one, personally, because of like some of the absolutely ridiculous crashes I had. Will he be able to do anything out of the top turns? He goes around the outside, look at that, what a fantastic move. And he goes through and takes a checkered flag, much to the delight of the Warriors fans. Superb race there from Tyler Govier. As he hits the uh, safety fence there, Tyler Govier going into the fence on the apex of the team more than two. Um, probably some of them I didn't really come off too well, and I ended up with concussion, which was a bit of a nightmare, but you know, that's racing. Um, but I'll be back for 2017. Thickest rider's got to be lame. Um, cut that man bun, you know what I mean? <laughs> Long rare than my mum you got. And uh, I, I don't quite fancy on any quiz shows. Um, I'd have to give that one to myself because, I mean, I know my time's tables and that, but um, I wouldn't say I'm like ready to win the Nobel Prize. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the Nobel Prize. <laughs> Nobel Prize. Um, that's my aim in life is to win that. But I can't see it happening just yet. When they say who is the thickest rider, I take it as they mean brain cells, not weight wise, because that's me. <laughs> is yeah. this guy for um, real? But that's definitely Mr. Dugard. Just try and have a conversation with him. The thickest rider will, um, yeah, it's probably Kelsey again, I would say. So. <laughs> The thickest rider is a rider who went to many away tracks and didn't know whether we were riding in the cup, the league, the knockout cup, if it was a one-off meeting or if it was uh, an aggregate meeting. And uh, I'm afraid to say, Mr. Dugar, you were by far the thickest rider. Hello everyone. Um, first of all, I hope you all had a good year watching Speedway on the island. I certainly enjoyed my time when I was there. Uh, it's a shame that I had to come to them, but I appreciate the opportunity and uh, everything that everyone gave me and all the support and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, yeah, like I say, I hope everyone's having a good time and um, I'm sure I'll see you all next year. Thank you. So, a great little insight there from the riders themselves. Wonderful to see. We thank you all for uh, joining in with us this year for the Warriors at the Andrew Uni Stadium. And from everybody at SpeedwayPortal.com, we thank you very much indeed and we look forward to seeing you once again in 2017. Have a great year, have a great Christmas, have a great New Year.
So the fun times will start again next April. Keep up to date then with the Warriors on their website, history and also speedwayportal.com for all the media action. See you in 2017. then that is proper entertainment and a great look uh, behind the scenes and a big tongue-in-cheek look at what happens uh, here at uh, Isle of Wight Speedway from a concept idea by young Kelsey with the help of the guys from Speedway Portal give them a round of applause excellent also available if you want a DVD making for weddings, bar mitzvahs, circumcisions any occasion they'll make a video for you it's going to be a long winter, they've got no speedway to record, give the guys some work. We are going to call now on a gentleman who has been brilliant this evening in the role of manager of the Isle of Wight Warriors. Ladies and gents, please allow this to be a Can we have some lights on the please? Thank you. Some new lights, if you would, thank you very much. Can you turn the lights on, please? They're by the doors, the double doors behind you, Chris. Lights, please. Behind you, mate. Double, by the double doors, there's a switch. It's called on off. Turn on. <laughs> Good man. Good. Okay, so it gives me great pleasure to um, bring Neil up in front of you all. Neil was involved with us from the very start, before we could even tell anyone about what we were doing. Neil and Jackie. We're advising us, we're part of the team, we're as enthusiastic about it as we were. 
They were giving us direction, helping us, because Martin and I, we're novices in this game. We might, that's probably the reason why we do it completely differently. Um, but uh, Neil was always there, and Neil has been a, sorry, Neil has been an absolute champion. I'm not used to putting something like that that close. Uh, Neil has been an absolute champion uh, for the Warrior way, and making us believe in ourselves, and making the team believe in themselves. And um, enabling us to deliver you a product which is entertainment and fun, family fun, a great night out as well as Speedway. So it gives me great pleasure to give Neil this. It's, I'm sure he's never had something like this before. Um, I hope not. Anyway, it's on a piece of slate. So, as you all know, Neil now leaves us to go to the SCB. He's going to be coming to cheese. So um, I hope his last uh, team management in the league, they remember it very fondly with us because we've certainly valued him and we're very, very sad to lose him. Thanks, Barry. Appreciate that. Yeah, okay, cheers, guys. Um, Jackie just said to me, Neil, don't go out there and bore them silly, will you? So I try and be here as quick as I can. Um, Are you boring now? Yeah? yeah, I'm boring. Get off. Um, obviously, it's all about the riders. The riders done us a, a, a great job. We actually put this team together quite late. Uh, some of the other teams had a probably a six week start on us to build a team in. We have brought quite a few guys back from retirement or who have missed the previous season and um, yeah, gelled them all together and in my opinion on track we did a, a really good job. Um, well, we obviously had some problems with, with Brendan getting injured early on which sort of messed us up a bit and we had to change the team around. Unfortunately we had to bring Kelsey in which is... <laughs> There we go. Um, and then we, uh, unfortunately, Benji got injured. We brought Joe in. Joe did a great job for us. I thought, really, really good job. And then uh, Joe decided to leave us when he got Premier League spot. We um, honestly believed that Benji was coming back. We put him back in our one to seven, and then a few days afterwards, he uh, decided to uh, retire, which again messed us up a bit. Um, we ended up bringing Chris in and the two boys down the bottom, Nathan and Lane, and in my opinion, that absolutely turned our season around. Um, so obviously, losing, uh, losing Benji was almost a nine-point rider. Brought Chris in. Um, the powers that be actually criticised us for, the, for our team average being so low, but... Again, in my opinion, I thought Chris came in, uh, replaced Benji on a four and a half point average, did a tremendous job for us, really, really good. Uh, regards Lane and Nate, it's been well documented what a, a great job those two boys did. I will just tell you, everyone a real quick story about Nathan. And this, this shows you what a great young man this kid is. He's 19 years old. Well, he's 20 now, but when I spoke to him, he was 19. Time flies. <laughs> the Isle of Wight actually did a, a, a deal with Nathan on a Saturday afternoon to come and ride for the island. On the Monday, one other club offered Nathan a much better deal than he was getting here. But because we, but because we had agreed a deal over the phone, man to man, Nathan honoured us and came to the island. Not have done that. <laughs> and as I say, that just that just goes to show what sort of person Nathan is. He just honoured his word on the phone to me, and um, yeah, great credit to him. And obviously came here, did a great job, and we had some great times here. And um, like for me personally, when Chris Lane and Nathan came into the team, he absolutely turned us round, and we had a great season. Um, Cock was awesome, but did almost every heat 15 for us. Uh, the fans rider of the year, Mark Baisby, in my opinion, came in at the start of the year on a 5.88 average and ended up being our outright number one. Particularly here at home, he was almost unbeatable and um, was absolutely Mr. Entertainment. I thought Mark did a great job for us. And um, Lee you know, came out of retirement too. 
Can I see our thought, to be fair, came from Eastbourne last year, rode in reserve the whole of last season, came into our team, a completely different start, a massive track in Bedford Eastbourne, rode in number two uh, most of the season, which is a hard job. And then Kelsey did us a great job, she had a good night last weekend. Anyway. <laughs> Apart from that, um, right there, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Finally, a great credit to Martin and Barry. Yeah, people thought that it couldn't be done. They brought Spiro back to the island. What a fantastic place to have Speedway. Uh, from you know, two or three years ago when the island was here, me and Jackie used to come over, and it was it certainly wasn't the place that it has been this season. And yeah, well done to all the supporters and the fans for giving us the backing that you have. And um, to Barry and Mark for bringing it back and you're yeah, making it a great summer and I'm sure I would like to stay involved if I can like somehow next season you know even in the background to like support the team and um, I'm sure on track 2017 will be better than 2016 and um, yeah look forward to it. I'm getting glazed with the wife now so that better be it and uh, thanks to everyone for their support and um, yeah, good luck for the future. Okay, it's my turn to bore you now. Okay, listen. Thank you. Listen, uh, this has been... A I always say the kids live the dream. Live the dream and get involved in Speedway. You can be a hero, you can make it. Live the dream. Do you know what? I've lived the dream the last year. And so has Martin. I've loved it. It's been great. And that's down to you guys, really. It's down to the people that support us on the track, the track staff, people that film it, the bar staff here, the fans. It's not down to us, we're just the leaders maybe. But the rest of it is down to you. You make it happen. You know, Stu turns up with the drum. He did that, not me. I okay, I bought it, but he played it. So, you know, it's down to you guys and we want this to continue to grow. We want the Warrior Way to continue to go. It's becoming a culture, it's great. We inspire kids. The Speedway schools have been really well received last week and they will happen monthly now. So it's up to you to continue to grow this. We can grow it as big as you want it to be or we can just stay as we are. But for me, let's make it something special. Let's be the best that we can be. Let's be brilliant because we can be because you make it so. So let's get behind this. Thanks for coming tonight. It's a fantastic turnout, huge group of people. Thanks to our riders, thanks to the track staff. Thanks to everybody here at Smallbrook Stadium. Thanks to our presentation team. If I've missed someone, I'm really sorry, but I thank everybody from my heart. Sorry? Yeah, I won't forget. Oh my God, Kev. Let me tell you, Kev Shepherd is the best clerk of the course in the country. I think he deserves a card And you know why? It's interesting. People say to us when they come here, you run your speedway meetings like Premier League. It's so efficient, it's so good, it's brilliant. There's fun, there's entertainment. This is what we want it to be. This is how we're going to grow it. I want to thank this good man here, Martin. Of course. And um, I also need to thank Lisa Sokol and my family. Believe me, um, Lisa's having an affair with me because I love Speedway and Lisa's my lover. But <laughs> No, without Lisa, I couldn't do what I do. Um, she got something a lot, really. Um, thank you very much for that. Uh, so I come down here quite a lot, and um, more than I should probably, but I thank them and my family for allowing me to do so. So, 2017, let's roll on. It's going to be a great year. Let's get behind it. Let's keep the warrior way going. Right? All those that came to the events during the year, they can't tell me they didn't have a good time doing the shows. We loved it. We loved having the kids there being involved. We're going to do more of that next year, more marketing. We're going to get this team bigger, bigger and bigger. It's my vision. I hope that's yours as well, mine, but that's, what, that's mine. So let's see what we can do, okay? And thank you again, everybody. Have a great time tonight. Party. I don't, I don't think I can say much or add much more to that. I think Barry just uh, summed up everything that's right with this club. 
right with the Speedway team and right with Smallbrook. Uh, I think in a way Barry and myself are just catalysts for making something happen. We have a vision of how it should be. We've proved that we can do it. We're getting the accolades from you know, key people within the sport. Uh, but we're not that bothered about that. We're doing what we want to do. And from my side, the support that we've had from the Islanders, it's building. We couldn't manage without it. And at the end of the day, it's the Isle of Wight Speedway team. It belongs to, to the Isle of Wight, and it cannot happen without the Islanders supporting it. And we have real support. And it doesn't matter whether it's turning up at shows with a bike or delivering leaflets or coming out at night to water the track before the meeting. Every little bit of support is welcome. So let's build on it. It's the momentum's building on the island. Visitors are coming from across the water every week. They have to, Mark. Let's face it. You can't swim. You know, it's, thank you, Ryan. It's, it's, it's great to see people coming here on a regular basis, enjoying it and saying what a great night it is. Let's build on it for 2017. Let's get it going even better. And thanks very much to all of you. Thank you. Well done, Martin. Well done, Barry. Thank you very much. So don't forget, we still have some merchandising down there on sale. See you in a second. We're going to be still at the Speedway Mine. We're going to get some photos on that and get them on social media. Let's show everybody what a good time we're having tonight. Look at the crowd in this room. We're going to have a good one. We've got some music now.